Hey Earthling. Hello everybody. Raising a child in a community is one of the topics that we contemplate a lot about it in our relationship and in our friend circles. And this is why we're coming with the second part of the interview with our friend Selena, who had this experience raising her child in a community. Yes, and she will focus on the challenges that usually might come up in a partnership when you have a child all of a sudden yeah. and how you know, she navigated that in her community. Yeah, that was one of the most exciting interview and community experience we had with them. So check it out. And if you haven't seen the first part, you can see it at the end of this video. Okay, let's start. Do you mm -hmm. like to show us where you gave birth? Yes, of course, let's go. So this is my home. And here on this bed, I, I gave birth to my son. And it's the most beautiful home I've ever lived in because it's uh, very natural. The walls are from clay and the roof is made out of palm leaves. And it feels like it's uh, like as if you are outside, but at the same time you are protected. It like keeps the, the warmth of the day. And um, at the same time, like you, you hear so many sounds and it, it, it's always fresh in here, always. I really wanted to put the focus also on how to, to sustain a healthy relationship um, being in a, in a community because I saw many examples from friends and fami family that it is very difficult to have a beautiful relationship and at the same time starting to, to grow your family, have children, um, and facing all these challenges that come up with having children because it takes all your time and all your energy and all your um, patience. And um, so it is a, a tremendous help to have people around that can, at the moment where you are most desperate and most um, needing some free time, some space, that they can help and um, just take Aru for a while and create this space in which there is possibility to re-encounter and reconnect in, in the couple also. Mm -hmm. Because this, these moments of intimacy and of um, really taking time together to, to go in, in, in deep connection is almost impossible by this intensity of having a, a newborn child. It's mm -hmm. And then, and then the, the structures that we naturally have of um, complaining about this and that and having difficulties to to connect in a in a soft and loving way with our partners they get really really strong and and um, yeah they can even lead to to separation because you cannot handle it anymore mm -hmm. also it's important to understand and to know that women after giving birth they break up their emotional body kind of uh, they break up their whole physical body and the emotional body and they stay in this emotional fusion and connection with the baby even though um, the baby left the womb for at least like two years so the the women are in this very sensitive very water emotional um, circumstance and the the men by not knowing how to handle this and how to accompany women being in this really almost sometimes depressive state is uh, can be very challenging mm -hmm. and having the support of a community who can who understands these things can um, support and also help the father in this circumstance to relax and to just let the waves come and and pass and not freak out because it can be very scary when you're just like so sad and so desperate and you don't know why and it has mostly to do with reconnecting yourself as woman reconnecting yourself to your own baby state what have you what have you experienced when you were a baby was that a healthy situation or was it not what what felt your mom when she was giving birth to you what did her grandmother felt when she was giving birth to your mom and th it's like it's opening this whole lineage wow. of being in this in this really 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 vulnerable state of of being a newborn being a baby or being a child and you are in this completely emotional world where there is no rational mm -hmm. clarity where you cannot say ah this is happening because because he hurt me or, or he does not he cannot handle this or um, there is yeah there's no rational 
understanding of what is going on. It's pure emotions. If the woman can really stay in this connection with the emotional symbiosis with a child, it's so beautiful because this is such a big chance for women to bring those traumas and those emotions that have been stuck and have been in the, uh, let's say, in the underworld or in the unconscious, and they can bring it. This is the moment where they can bring it to, to the light and they are now adults and they can really look at it and they can transform it. So it's also a huge mm. healing chance in this two years of this fusion, emotional fusion with the baby, because as I experienced it, there were coming so many memories and um, traumatic uh, feelings and reactions out of my own history up in this moment. And I felt like, wow, it's really such a beautiful possibility to, to work and to transform things, not only for yourself, but also for the baby in this moment. And I read and I heard also that because women have to go back to their work and their daily duties so fast and so um, harshly, they, they do not have another chance as to cut off this connection with the baby. Mm -hmm. Because you are not, when you are in this liquid state, when you are, when you are so emotional and connected with your baby in this emotional um, bond, there is no you are not as efficient and um, mm -hmm. uh, like strong and yeah. practical yeah. as you have to be in the modern world. You are, and, and then you are just not accepted anymore. And, and then you are disconnected from maybe from your friends, from yeah. family, yeah. from, Jeez. yes. So th there is actually, there is, our society is not built for women to, e to, to relax and to completely c trust being in this state of deep connection with the baby after birth and um, because this has a it has a sense that this happens yeah. it's because you can then sense every little detail what the baby is needing because of this emotional connection because you feel when your baby is not well and yeah. and when you have to make this cut then the baby is being taken care of by others and you can return to your life mm -hmm. which is which is in some cases also it's just not possible in another way. And it's also not, um, I don't, don't want to judge this at all. Like sometimes it has to be like this and it's also fine. But I want just to say that in community, I had this um, beautiful gift of really, really taking this time and space to, to allow myself to deepen into this really profound, moving, difficult, traumatic <laughs> emotions and, and sensations around my own history and around becoming mom. Mm -hmm. well. And also around um, the, the story, I guess, that uh, my child brings to this earth because I'm, I'm, I believe that children also bring their, their past lives and their um, souls into this new reincarnation. Well, thank you so much. This was so inspiring and I, so I can't cool. wait for women to hear this wisdom that you have to share. Mm. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. We hope that you enjoyed this video. We have so many videos about intentional community, alternative economy, and many other topics that are interesting for you if you want to live an alternative lifestyle. So check the playlist here and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And if you want to reach out to Selena, you can find her contact in the description below. Yeah. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yes.